decided to make a small video on a smoke generator um, just so we can use this to uh, find vacuum leaks and uh, what it does is it blows smoke into the engine through this tube you can see in here the tube goes into a small soup can with some tape wrapped around it and that's the S-boot going into the intake the idea is to flood the intake with smoke with a little bit of pressure and uh, what that should do is uh, show us where the vacuum leaks are because if there's cracks in the intake system anywhere the smoke will eventually drift out and you can see it um, come out and then that'll show you where your vacuum leak is so basically we have a one gallon paint can where the tube comes out with the smoke I got a little valve set up there with the air compressor and this is my box I keep going this big old can here is so I could do the intake plenum on my Dodge truck. So I've done that and I was surprised how many uh, vacuum leaks I found on there. Idea here is uh, you get a, a rag, you soak it with oil, then you light it on fire, hold it up there and let it smolder. Then you put it inside the can, put the lid on, open up the air pressure a little bit, and it'll start blowing smoke into there. So I got this old rag here. I'll put a little bit of oil in it. And we'll uh, put a little bit of fluid on here to get lit up. And um, we'll let that burn, get it nice and hot. And then uh, we'll, uh, no, won't be able to light it because my matches are lame. There we go. So we let that burn, let it get hot. You don't want to put it in there flaming. What I did find it if you use too much air, it'll actually feed the rag and it'll actually catch on fire inside there because it's actually being fed too much oxygen even though it's in that can. So you have to use just a little bit of air, just enough to blow the smoke into the tube. So it's blowing pretty good. At this point we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and put it out. We just want to put it out. We don't want to let it burn and burn and burn. We just want to let it smolder. And then once it's, once we put it out, we put it in the can. So I got carried away with the fuel. It's obviously not going to go out for me. I'll just put this lid on it and it'll smother it. And uh, you should get some pretty good smoke now. You can see it coming out of there. And we'll just open up this air just a little bit. And you see it rolling out. See how that smoke rolls out? lid on. Then we go over here to our tube. Remember, you got a real, not a lot, a lot, a lot of pressure here, and it's not a whole lot, just enough. And you see that's really coming out. See, I got this massive vacuum leak right here. You see that? Well, that's, that's fine because that's actually the tube going to the intake plenum, but you see how it works. That's what you want to find. You want to find these little leaks everywhere. So let's see what else is going on. Looks like I got a leak down there somewhere. Look at that. Where's that coming from? Well, maybe it's from the S boot. I don't know. We'll have to find out though. Might be just some more vacuum tubing. I did find some leaks of vacuum down in there where the fuel injectors were, and those were the, all the O-ring o rings on the fuel injectors are bad. I've since serviced the O-rings. I'm sorry, I've since serviced the injectors. All new O-rings. And uh what else we got going on? Anything else over here? So you just look around for smoke. 